Alright, hello guys, in this video we're going to be talking about that Halloween snowstorm that is now named Winter Storm Bessie, and it's major Winter Storm Bessie at that because a lot of areas are going to be expecting to potentially see over 10 inches of snow. We're going to go over our warnings, watches, and advisories, our storm track, our simulated radar, and then also our snowfall forecast at the end of this video. Now, before I get started with this one, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, if I make an update to this forecast, I'm going to link it in the pinned comment, so if you're watching this a couple days after the 29th, then you might want to check the comment section for an updated forecast on this one, because I usually update these. Now, we're looking at our current storm track here. You can see it's located, our low pressure system that is, or winter storm Bessie is located over Utah, and it's gonna move south into the states of New Mexico, all the way through Texas, and then up, curve up into the Great Lakes. Now, let me break down each of these color codes. So you probably have found your area. Now, the white section, let's start off, is where we're gonna be seeing snow. Not necessarily a snowstorm. We're not gonna be seeing a ton of snowfall in this area, but there will be potentially snow falling and potentially to the areas in the north, in the north central, there might be snow showers around up there in the Dakotas, Minnesota, or Montana, but not really notable. Now for this pink section, that's where we're expecting our winter storm to really take effect. That's where the most impactful regions are going to be for this one. Then in our purple zone here, where we see Chicago, St. Louis, and Kansas City, and almost Oklahoma City, as well as Detroit, this is our mix zone. This is areas that really, as we see the model runs come out over the next two days, because we're not expecting those areas to get impacted until a couple days from now, we could see it move south, could see it move north, or we could see just a mix of all sorts of different precipitations. This is the really fragile area where just a little bit of a change in the projected track or temperatures, we could see a huge difference in the precipitation type, snowfall totals, and all sorts of stuff like that. So this is the most interesting and hardest to forecast zone in this purple zone. Now your dark green region, this is where we're expecting heavy rain throughout this region. This is where some of the heaviest precipitation is going to be during this storm. And really we're going to see tons and tons of rainfall throughout this dark green region. And then your light green region, we're expecting rainy conditions. There could be heavy rain throughout some of these areas, but it isn't as likely as in that dark region. Could only be rain showers as well for some regions. Now let's get started with your watches, warnings, and advisories. You can see in this pink region we have winter storm warnings for a lot of Colorado and Wyoming there. And then in all those purplish blue areas, that's where we're seeing our winter weather advisories. We also have a freeze warning down there in central Oklahoma as well as a freeze watch there. And those turquoise colors for Texas I might want to mention. But we're expecting our heaviest amounts of snow to to occur in the winter storm warning regions in those pink regions. Now for your precipitation type, this is your GFS model. We're going to go over uh, basically what this model is expecting the radar to look like. So starting things out on your first frame, this is about right about now actually. And you can see we have moderate snow occurring for areas in Southern Wyoming, Eastern regions of Idaho and Utah, and then a lot of regions in Colorado are starting to see snow occur in the state of Colorado. We just got done with a snowstorm for those regions, and here we go again. Denver, we're already seeing snow uh, once again. Let's move on one frame, though, here, and you can see this is going to be later in the evening today, and you can see moderate snow has moved into the Denver area, all of Colorado is basically experiencing light to moderate snow with the exception of the southwestern corners. That's the one region that looks to get the least amount of snow from this event. We already see rain starting up for Oklahoma and Texas as well. Snow showers entering Nebraska and Kansas by this point, I might want to mention also. Now by tomorrow morning, you can see that we still have moderate snow there for the eastern regions of Colorado, but really the snowfall is beginning to enter into Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. And it's at this point that we're going to go ahead and switch over our map to look at the Great Lakes regions where we're already starting to see snow over there. Now you can see we have a better look at Kansas and Nebraska, and we can still see that eastern region of Colorado, though the snow is beginning to, to stop for those regions but we do have a mix of snow and rain on this model for northern Missouri, that's including Kansas City, and then also for areas to the south of Chicago as well as in Chicago. 
We're going to move on an extra frame to tomorrow evening, and you can see this is where things get interesting. We see on this run, we see that the low pressure system is a little bit too far north, and we switch back over to rain for Chicago, but we're in light to moderate to even heavy snow there for Kansas City and areas for all of eastern Kansas there, it looks like, with the exception of the very southeastern corner of the state, but northern Missouri as well. I just got a comment yesterday, somebody saying that they haven't gotten a lot of snow in Missouri in recent years. Well, here you go. In northern Missouri, we're expecting to see moderate snow very, very soon. This is by the 31st, so this is tomorrow morning, or actually, this is tomorrow evening, uh, so the 30, heading into the 31st, so this is the 30th, actually, the evening of the 30th. Now, let's move on another frame, and this is going to be the morning of the 31st. So this is going to be 12Z Thursday, and you can see southern Iowa and northern Missouri getting the moderate snow bands there, as well as very, very western Illinois. And we see mixing going on just to the north of Chicago, like I said, northern Michigan as well. Let's move on another frame, and you can see heavy, heavy snow beginning to occur for central regions and north central regions of Illinois, as well as southern regions in Wisconsin and northern Michigan. This is by Thursday evening, so this is going to be heading into Halloween night. Uh, so the 31st, and we see heavy snow there, again, on the border of southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. As we head on to November 1st, Friday morning, you can see it's basically done for all of the areas with the exception of Michigan and northern Ohio. There we're maybe seeing some mixed showers, but northern Michigan, we're seeing moderate to heavy snow for those regions. We're pretty much done by time we are at the Friday evening, November 1st. All is said and done by that point for the most part. Now let's get into my official snowfall forecast for this one. Let's add your first layer here. You can see a dusting to three inches for all these white regions, all the way from the northern Rockies down through Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. A lot of this has already occurred there for the northern Rockies. Um, but we do see areas in northern New Mexico, northern Texas, northern Oklahoma seeing potentially a dusting of snow, maybe more. But Kansas is going to look to get maybe... Uh, dusting to three inches as well as a lot of Nebraska, Iowa, northern Missouri, including Kansas City, and not really uh, St. Louis. St. Louis it's going to be to the north of you, so I don't think you'll even see a dusting. But we have Salt Lake City in this, Denver in this, Kansas City in this, Chicago in this. So you can see areas in southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, where we saw that moderate to heavy snow, as well as northern Michigan. Now let's add your second layer here. This is your three to six inch layer. So these are... The areas that are close to this blue area you can see are probably the areas that are in the white, at least, are closer to one to two to three inches rather than a dusting. A lot of Colorado there, including Denver, into three to six inch region, as well as Kansas City up through Chicago from Kansas, northern Missouri, southern Iowa, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and then northern Michigan. All of these regions looking to get three to six inches just to the north of Chicago there. Uh, we saw mixing. I think this will end as snow for you guys. It's, again, very, very, very fragile system here for those regions. So we're going to need to update you guys on the second half of this storm, which is the kind of Chicago, Kansas City portion of this. That might need to be tomorrow's video. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be able to make my November forecast because there's so much action going on right now. I don't want to miss it and not make a video on it. So very, very tough uh, choices for making videos right now. I've been having a lot of trouble trying to fit in time to make that November forecast, but don't worry, it will be out. Uh, now let's add our third layer of snow here. This is where we're expecting 6 to 10 inches of snow. You can see some of those Rocky Mountains, some of those higher elevations. In Colorado, we're seeing 6 to 10 inches of snow, as well as some areas in northern Missouri, southern Iowa, northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin. That's pretty far north of Chicago there. Where we're seeing that 6 to 10 inch band show up. So not quite in Chicago, obviously. You guys are in the area that are dealing with a mixing situation where it's going to be very, very difficult to see where you guys get mostly rain, mostly snow, and that's going to drastically affect how much snowfall we see. Kansas City kind of in the same situation, though. I think they're on the little bit of the colder edge of the thing. So we're going to see more snow for Kansas City rather than Chicago, most likely. And then St. Louis, um, as of right now, I have you guys in mostly rain. You could see flakes, but mostly rain. So call, so Denver, we're looking at three to six inches. Kansas City, three to six inches. And in 
in Chicago, let's call it about one to two inches of snow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Share it with your friends and family if they live in any of these regions or if they'll find it useful or interesting. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be looking for that update too, by the way. It'll be in the pinned comment or if you subscribe to the channel, it'll pop up. I will be making another one on this storm for that Great Lakes region of this storm. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.